Good afternoon, NK. So the center Leslie here. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to operate the DSP uh, model of the amplifiers by yours. And now I'm I'm going to show you. First, uh, switch on the <coughs> amplifiers. This is the main screen of the amplifiers. This is the model type, like ST represents for studio, and this is the preset, and this has the uh, volume for the channel A and channel B. You can see here, channel A decoder and channel B decoder. If you rotate the decoder of channel A, if you <coughs> if you decrease the volume of the channel A, like here, and the minimum the minimum volume is uh, minus 60, and the same as the channel B. If you low take the decoder and the minimum value is uh, minus 60 and uh, if you want to go uh, go to the next step just press press any decoder of channel A or channel B like I press the uh, decoder of channel A <coughs> and uh, before going to the next step it requires you to input the password and, uh, like you can rotate rotate the decoder of channel B but Please remember that the channel A decoder doesn't have any meaning in this uh, in this menu. You cannot select number by rotating it. You only can select the number by rotating the channel B decoder like A, and then press press the decoder of channel B to move to another digit, <coughs> and then rotate it, and then press to convert. But if you press the decoder of channel A, it means nothing. It means that if we go back to the formal digit, like uh, I input the uh, long digit and then press it, and I want to change it. So you only have to press the decoder of channel A to go back to the formal digit and then rotate it to select this one, and then press, it. and then rotate, press. And then pressed, and uh, you have to confirm. It. <coughs> if you press the decoder of channel A, it will go back to the next digit, which is the last digit, and then press and confirm. And this is the sub menu, sub menu of the DSP. They totally have ten sub menus. The first one is uh, record, but you can only select you can only select the sub menu by rotating the decoder of channel B. But if you rotate the decoder of channel A, it means nothing. Which means that decoder of channel A only have two functions. The first function is to uh, to decrease the volume of channel A in the very beginning of the main uh, main the screen, and uh, <coughs> and the next step is that to to make it go back forward like a uh, present, and then. The first one is uh, some menu is record, and the second one is uh, walk mode, and next one is uh, crossover, and next one is PQ, and next one is delay, phase, compressor, limiter, store, and the last one edit password. Like uh, I I will go into the very beginning of the first one sub menu one by one, <coughs> and then you only have to press the decoder of channel B to enter into the submenu. <coughs> it's, it is the preset record. You can uh, rotate the decoder of channel B to select a suitable one you prefer. It. But if you rotate the channel A decoder, it means nothing. Which means that decoder channel A only can go backward, go back to the previous previous content within the submenu. I will search later. Like uh, I prefer to choose the first one, which is the default, and press. And it even has the indication that to confirm to load this preset by yourself. You know the no, no is blinking, which means that it, it can be selected. Like uh, rotate the decoder of channel B, and it will move to the yes, and then press it to confirm. And then you already this this signal means that you already select the flat. The first preset yourself, <coughs> and uh, now we have to go back to the uh, sub, sub menu, and then you only have to press the ES key button, and then you go go to the sub menu, <coughs> and.
and then rotate the channel B decoder to select the second one, the second submenu, and press it to enter into the submenu, which is the work mode. There totally has three types of work mode. The first one is studio, and the second one is parallel, and the third one is bridge. Like the first one, <coughs> if you want to select it, just press the decoder of channel B, and then you have the if you have the indication to to select to confirm to choose or not, like uh, I want to choose yes, and then you only have to rotate the decoder of channel B, and then press to confirm, <coughs> and go back one. Only have to press the ES key button. And the uh, third one is uh, crossover. Press the decoder to enter into this uh, menu. And uh, this is the screen of the sub menu. The first one is uh, high frequency, high pass frequency. You can rotate the decoder of channel B to select. The total has two times. The first one is uh, uh, low pass frequency. Another one is uh, high pass frequency, and you please pay attention to here. Here is only uh, the default setting for channel A, and then you press it. If you move to the channel selection, which means that you can select channel A or channel B. Like uh, I prefer the channel B this time, so I just rotate the decoder of channel B, and uh, within the menu you can use. Uh, you can use the channel A to go backward within the menu, only within this menu. Like, uh, like just now, uh, the HPF is blinking, and now the channel B signal is blinking. So, what if, if it is like this? I want to go back to here. So you only have to press, press the decoder of channel A, and if you go back to this one, and then if you press again. If you do circle it within this menu, <coughs> yeah, you can rotate it to select a different value yourself, and then press to move forward. Like I, I want it, I want it on. So if you have some indication, and then you only have to rotate it to select on option, and then press to confirm. And now it's already the setting of channel B. If you want to go to the uh, channel selection, you only have to press it. If you move, move backward within the menu, press it. And press it. And uh, rotate the decoder of channel B to select. And then confirm. And if you want to go back to the another sub menu, press the ES key button to go back to the sub menu. And the next one is PEQ. <coughs> press the decoder to enter this sub menu. And uh, you rotate it to select a suitable one yourself. And uh, press it to move to the next one. And uh, if you have an indication, if you rotate it, if you want to change the time to PEQ or not, just press it to confirm. And this one, and go backward, and yeah. and here also has the channel A and channel B selection. Yeah, rotate it to select channel A or channel B by yourself, like channel B confirm. And the value I choose, such as uh, one point one point nine, and then press it to confirm, and then move to another another value. <coughs> I want to keep it same this time, so just press and uh, press the ES key button to go back to the to go back to the sub menu. And the next one is delay. Press it to com to go into this menu, and then rotate it to choose channel A or channel B and press to move to another uh, value selection like uh, I want
88 and then pressed and then rotate press to confirm it's already finished is for this delay for channel A and uh, for channel B press choose the different yourself press and choose on and uh, it's already finished and I press the ESQ button to go backward to go to the the sub menu <coughs> and the uh, next one is face face also has the channel A and channel B <coughs> you can select different by rotating the decoder of channel B to select different channel you, you prefer like the channel B press to confirm <coughs> and then <coughs> Rotate to select a different uh, degree yourself and press. It's already confirmed. And uh, press the ES key button to go back. And the compressor. Compressor. This is the uh, switch. Choose to on or off. Choose on. And uh, select a different value yourself. And channel A or channel B. You have to, you have to select the uh, suitable to put for channel yourself and uh, this is the starting time and then uh, RE represents for recovery recovery time and press and then press the ESK button to go back forward and the next one is the limiter choose the on or off and choose the different channel and uh, choose the value Choose a different variable by notating it. After confirm this uh, value, if you circle it, go back to the very first one within the menu. So you only have to press the ES key to go back more. And the next one is store. Choose the different different preset and then store it yourself. You can use any one you prefer, like this one. Just press it. To name it, this is the name of the preset by yourself, and you have to press the decoder of channel B to confirm this uh, preset, and then rotate it. Choose the yes. It's already finished. The preset store. Go back more. And the next one, which is the last one, is for edit password. If you want to change the new password you prefer, you can change it. By selecting this menu, press the decoder key to to enter. But you have to fill in the old password first, and then to set a new password, and then confirm OK. And and here I will not change the password. Press the ES key, and you may notice that <coughs> in the front panel there has a record and the store uh, button. Record is the shortcut. The shortcut button for selecting the different uh, preset is a socket, and uh, and also store store is also the shortcut uh, button for do some preset storing. You can choose it yourself. Yeah, press the ES key. We go back to the very beginning, which is the main screen of the DSP panel. And uh, here I want to re remind you that the channel A decoder only have two functions. The first function is to uh, to change the volume, to change the volume of channel A. And uh, second second function is go back more within the within the sub menu like uh, like a PQ. If you press the decoder decoder of channel A, it only can go backwards within the within this uh, crossover menu, sub menu. It will not go back to the last last sub menu. If you want to go back to the last sub menu, you have to press the ES key. So and the uh, channel A decoder only have to this only has these two functions. Thank you very much. And if you have something doubt, please send me an email and I will reply to you later. Thank you.